Washington when Anthony Scaramucci, the new White House communications director, went on television on Thursday morning to compare himself and his adversary, Reigns Priebus, the chief of staff, to Cain and Abel, it seemed to encapsulate the fratricidal nature of an administration riven by biblical rivalries. Cain, after all, killed Abel as they vied for God's favor. As it turned out, that was the cleaned-up version. In a vulgarity-laced telephone call with a New Yorker writer reported on the magazine's website on Thursday evening, Mr. Scaramucci railed against Mr. Priebus and Stephen K. Bannon, the president's chief strategist, both of whom opposed his hiring last week. He even vowed to get the chief of staff fired. Reigns Priebus if you want to leak something he'll be asked to resign very shortly, Mr. Scaramucci said. Whether Mr. Scaramucci will turn out to be Cain or Abel, it was clear that his appointment has added another layer of drama and dissent to a White House suffused in it and revived the perpetual questions about Mr. Priebus' fate. Sean Spicer, the White House press secretary and an ally of Mr. Priebus, resigned in protest when Mr. Scaramucci was hired last week because, he predicted, it would only add more chaos to the team. On that, at least, he seems to have been proved right. But President Trump not only tolerates feuds within his team, he fuels them, playing one courtier off another and leaving them all unsteady. He chooses favorites and casts others aside, but even those decisions seem subject to change at any moody moment. And by several accounts, he personally encouraged Mr. Scaramucci's jihad against Mr. Priebus, once again subjecting his chief of staff to a ritualistic public lashing even as he considered pushing him out. Left to explain all this was Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the new White House press secretary. This is a White House that has lots of different perspectives because the president hires the very best people, she said gamely, before the New Yorker article posted, asserting that a healthy competition benefits Mr. Trump. With that competition, you usually get the best results. The president likes that kind of competition and encourages it. That kind of competition has exhausted even some of Mr. Trump's most loyal defenders. But Mr. Trump has openly told people that he has lost faith in Mr. Priebus. He has said he wants a general as chief of staff, and has focused on John F. Kelly, the retired four-star Marine now serving as Homeland Security Secretary. Many of his advisors, however, consider that a bad idea. Mr. Scaramucci made clear in his conversation with The New Yorker's Ryan Lizza that he is trying to push Mr. Priebus out. Reigns is a fucking paranoid schizophrenic, a paranoid, he said. Mr. Scaramucci complained that Mr. Priebus had prevented him from getting a job in the White House until now, saying he blocked Scaramucci for six months. In the same telephone call, Mr. Scaramucci disparaged Mr. Bannon. I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own cock, he said. I'm not trying to build my own brand on the president's coattails. I'm here to serve the country, he added. Mr. Priebus finds himself isolated inside the White House.